Hi, and welcome to uh, my Zojo uh, toolbar tip again. But this is for uh, cross-platform uh, toolbars that will work on Mac, Windows, and Linux. I know they don't really have toolbars on uh, Linux or Windows, but uh, Windows, they call them taskbars, and I don't know what they really call them in Linux, but they do have controls that are at the top of the window that do uh, things like a toolbar would on uh, Mac OS X. So I've added, um, this is pretty much just a you know, nothing special type project. I added uh, a page panel here, actually two page panels with multiple views. Um, and we're going to use the toolbar to flip through the page panel views. And um, so I want to use or go over the uh, toggle button. So you can see the style button is toggle for all these. And you know even if you go into the inspector, and some of you might see the inspector docked part of Zojo on the side here. You can also make them panels, and I prefer that uh, method because I can have both the library and the inspector up at the same time. Um, so these are toggle buttons. And even though that you press the push button right here, when you launch it without adding any code, to the toolbar object. You'll notice, and you'll really notice if you launch this on Windows or Linux, it is messed up. It's really messed up on Windows and Linux. It's not as messed up on uh, uh, Mac, but it is still messed up. Is the window already open? Maybe. That certainly was. So you see as we launch it, we have the toolbar, why isn't they toggled? Um, so you would think, hey, I, I had the first one pushed, it should be toggled. There you go. I had to push it twice to show the toggle uh, show up. Uh, a way a toggle button should work is it should um, uh, present itself. It's already toggled. Like here, this one doesn't show up toggled on these radio buttons. Well, I can change that in my project and it will work. So actually, let's do that just to show you how the toggle button really should work. So if we did this value here. Uh, this radio button would show up toggled when we launch it. And sure enough, see how it's toggled here? And you toggle. That's how it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be like if you click it again, it untoggles. Well, that's what's happening here with these toolbar toggles. And like I said, if you're on Windows and Linux, and uh, I don't have a screen record application for uh, my Windows, but on my Windows it's horrible. Uh, I know there's a couple of ones you can get for Windows 8, but it all make AVI files, and I have nothing to uh, take the AVI file and turn it into something that's usable for um, Final Cut Pro. So. I'm going to show you what you have to do. It's it's a lot more steps than you think. So we have our toolbar here in our project, and I added um, the events, which you do by clicking on this little button here, these event handlers. But I've already added all the ones for this toolbar. I have an action event, which switches through our page panels using a select case item dot name uh, page panel switches uh, the panels. I have a close, which I really don't really need to use. I don't really need to use a drop-down menu. And we have the open event. So on the open event, what we need to do is we need to tell this toolbar, hey, we want the first item in this toolbar to be pressed. So let's go back to our toolbar thing here. And let's see what this is called. So this is called TB Photo. And I'm just going to copy that to the clipboard. And I'm going to say, hey, I want this me. Because I'm telling him, hey, I'm, this is the toolbar. Me, I want this TB photo to be pushed. And all I have to do is give it a uh, Boolean value of true. And sure enough, it will be pushed when we launch it now. So let's try that. And so you can see, it's pushed. However, um, and you, this, like I said, it's going to be more noticeable on Windows and Linux. When you click on these in Windows and Linux, um, you see how I'm double clicking in here? So if say if I click settings multiple times, you can see it removes the toggle. 
Well, how these things actually work, if you launch um, Xcode and you build this in Xcode, this won't work like this. It's, it, it doesn't work like this. It's not supposed to work like this. And you don't want it to work like this in Linux or Windows, and it, it's even worse where these uh, buttons change the toggle event. So to get around that, you can add yourself a method. And I added one called TB Reset, where I call the toolbar, and the toolbar's name is toolbar main. You can call your toolbar whatever you like. You call the toolbar item, and again, these toolbar items, um, as you can see here, are, is this name event here, name, TB photo, TB data, TB settings, whatever you want to call it. Let's go back to that method. So that's the name, and then I use the word pushed, and then I say equals false. So I'm telling all of them, hey, I don't want you to be highlighted. So we're going to all turn them all in back into normal buttons. So this thing here is called TB reset. If I add this to my action event for each one of these case items, and we just run this, we'll see that um, the toggle event won't show up when we first launch, but anytime we click now, the toggle event is missing. Great, that's what we want. But now we want to add one thing to this case statement in the action event. And we want to add the same thing we add to the open event. We want to say, hey, we want um, in the action event, so let's start with uh, the photo me tb photo pushed true so you've now you told all of them you want it all false and you tell the new one hey i want this one true and it'll stay true no matter how many times that button's pressed it will always stay true so we just copy this for each one of these uh, items except for we do have to um change the name because this one here is uh, TB data, and then this one down here is called TB settings. And oops, we can just um, change the name of them, and we'll hit save. And now, when we run this, they all should toggle perfect. And it looks like I have a error somewhere. Looks like there is a goofy. There it is. Oops, there was a quote in there. Yeah, I could see how that would be an error. And then let's hit save again. So now we run this, it'll work, and especially on Windows and Linux. Windows and Linux, you're going to love me for this because, uh, see, no matter how long, how many times you crush it, that is always toggled. It's never going to not show a toggled uh, event. Now, obviously on Mac, because that's where I have my screen record software, or at least my best one, um, you don't see it as much on uh, Linux and Windows. Uh, you get a highlight. Um, on my uh, Windows 8, I get a blue highlight, but it probably depends on what you set up your theming with. You know, uh, you can change your theming in Windows. And the same with uh, Linux. Linux has different themes too, but uh, on Ubuntu, uh, you get like a yellow highlight. And it's really nice, and it looks very good, and it works perfectly. And so where you want to have sort of a page through where you have... Uh, this amount of uh, information here, you have this amount of information there, and you know, this here I just put a tab panel there, it has really nothing there, but um, you can see this works. 